There's not a, this feeling that the savings that uh, inured from that uh, reform were, was passed on to the Illinois' employers, and we do want to reduce the cost for Illinois employers without uh, hurting uh, hardworking employees unfairly. Um, and so the reforms that we've negotiated, both with the House and with input from the governor's office and, uh, and even some Senate, Senate Republicans, uh, take a major step that way. It uh, includes uh, provisions that allow the Department of Insurance to make sure employers are not being charged excessively in their premiums, that, that, that the savings are reflected in the premiums charged to employers. We even set a task force to further study that, to make sure that we do that. Um, it includes uh, recommendations from the governor's office with regards to containing the cost of prescription drugs, um, recommendations by uh, Republican Senator Anderson to make sure our first responders don't have to wait for their ter the temporary disability. Um, overall, I think the reforms are very uh, important reforms. We make sure that we protect against fraud in workers' compensation by strengthening fraud provisions. And I think it's a, it's a good product that uh, I hope, um, uh, I know that uh, it will reach the governor's desk, and I, act, I hope that he acts accordingly to sign the bill. He's, he's emphasized the need for workers' comp reform. Well, we're, we're sending workers' comp reform to him.